Well, hey guys, Keithy Six here, metal detecting in Alaska. Rain's finally stopped here in Fairbanks and we've had some pretty warm days now. You can see the roads are clear and the snow's melting. We just have these giant piles everywhere. So anyways, I've been starting to work on my motor home, getting it ready for the summer. And wouldn't you know it, one of the first things I saw was a mosquito, or as my friend Doug likes to call them, mosquitoes. Well, so recently somebody asked me how we deal with mosquitoes here in Alaska. So I thought I'd go over some of the things that I use to keep mosquitoes from driving me nuts. Well, I've been hooking up this 12 volt smart TV. This thing's great for camping. So there it is in travel mode. It releases and can pivot up and down. And so that's pretty cool. I need to tighten it all up. Well, in Alaska, there are 35 different species of mosquitoes. And out of that, only two do not feed on your blood. So when you go out into the remote areas, especially where it's really green and thick, you're going to run into a lot of mosquitoes. And uh, here's a few tricks that I use to try to be uh, from not being eaten alive by mosquitoes. I know one thing that I do when I go out exploring uh, for old gold rush cabins and all that kind of stuff and I'm out in remote places where there's a lot of mosquitoes is I wear the same clothes to go do that same activity all the time. Uh, those clothes, I've sprayed so much bug spray on them that they're just permeated with bug spray and uh, seems like they stay away from that. I know they say that you're not supposed to wear dark colors. They say to wear light colors and beige colors because they say mosquitoes are attracted to dark colors, especially blue. And they also say that they're attracted to um, like perfumey body washes and shampoos and lotions and stuff like that. So you want to avoid that stuff too. Well, like I was saying, I always wear the same clothes and every time I go out, I spray bug spray on myself. So they seem like they're just saturated with all this bug spray and the bugs leave me alone. But one thing I'm really excited to try this year is, is I bought me some clothes. And uh, one of them is from Realtree. And I think the other one's made by Winchester, maybe. Or no, Mossy Oak. And uh, these are camouflage clothing that is infused by the manufacturer with uh, bug repellent. So I'm curious to try them. They're really thin and uh, we'll see how they work. I usually sweat my brains out. So these are going to be a joy to try because they're so thin. But supposedly they're infused with bug repellent, mosquito repellent. And they don't smell like it, so that'll be interesting to try, that's for sure. At least it'll be comfortable. I know one thing I like to do is I like to put a bandana around my neck like this. Nothing worse than having mosquitoes land on the back of your neck and just bite the crap out of you. So usually saturate that pretty good with bug spray. Here in Alaska, we call it bug dope because we're just spraying it like it's dope, I guess. I don't know. But it will keep the mosquitoes off your neck. Okay, so I would say probably the easiest thing to do would be to just use some mosquito repellent. Now, at the beginning of the season, when you go to the store here, Everybody gets tries to get the highest deep percentage. So that's the first thing to fly off the shelf. And usually all you can find are smaller percentages. But 
it seems like they all work. So I wouldn't worry about that. If you spray it on you, they're going to stay away. That's probably the easiest thing. Now, one way that I really, really like are these thermocell little portable personal mosquito repellents. So this is what they look like when they're not in the case. And this is what it looks like when it's in the case. And this can clip onto your belt or your backpack. This thing will create a six foot bubble around you that is supposed to uh, repel the mosquitoes. And I know these things work because we've been out in the woods I don't know how many times and there's just a black cloud of mosquitoes all around you. Fire up one of these and uh, they're gone within like five minutes. Now the way this works is in the bottom there's a place for a butane cartridge. So this is what you end up buying. Uh, this this probably costs about 25 30 bucks these re refill kits probably run around 20 and uh, the butane will last 12 hours per cartridge and then the smaller repellent pads last I think uh, four hours yeah four hours so here's the pads so basically you get these Thermocell cartridges and they're full of butane You stick it up in here and you screw it in and Then you take one of these pads and you insert it take it out of the thing of course, but you insert it like that and then It has a spark ignition and then it has a peephole you look down in the peephole and you'll see a little teeny fire burning down in there and you'll occasionally see smoke a little bit of smoke come out of this well this is uh repelling the the mosquitoes and these things work really really good i love using these things because you can just clip it onto your belt or clip it onto your backpack and uh just kind of forget about it i mean every four hours you have to replace these little pads which I'll show you what they look like. So see, they look like this. And they just slide in here like that. Just like so. Now, these are good for personal, so you can clip onto your belt. Or your backpack, like I was saying. But something I found that I really like to use when we go camping are these uh, thermocell lanterns. So you have a low... And you have a high but then they also appears where you put the the little blue repellent pad and it's been a while since I've taken this apart but here so that slides apart like that and there's LEDs for the light and then here is where you would screw on one of these cartridges just like so slide that back down in there so and then it has an ignition where it lights it and you can turn it off or on also has the viewing window so you can see if it's burning but if you have a couple of these sitting around outside of your RV or your tent they're great and these things don't work that great if there's a high wind it only works when there's hardly any wind or no wind and uh, anyways, talking about camp, camping, something else that we like to use are these mosquito coils. If you don't have these, we use citronella candles. And uh, But these are just a quick, easy way to keep the mosquitoes away from your campsite. And these will burn for eight hours. So that's a lot. Well, I know there's a lot of natural things that you can buy. And... Uh, I know a few people that have like used some of those things to try to keep their yards mosquito free and one of them is marigold flowers 
I guess mosquitoes hate marigolds. And if you look at some of these mosquito repellents, they have marigold in it. So that's kind of it's kind of wild. All right, so I know that's a lot of stuff, and most of the time you'll smell like bug spray, but you won't have big mosquito bites all over you. And as a last resort, there's always the mosquito head net. So basically, you just pull that over your head like that. There you go. Now mosquitoes won't bite you on the face. So I hope these tips help. Uh, keep you from getting bit by mosquitoes. And it's really not that bad. Uh, it, it, so, certain places are worse than others. So don't be afraid of the mosquitoes. Get some of these cool things to keep them away. Alright guys, till next time. I'll see you later.